I mean, if you take a quick example of what's happening today, we've got a hurricane in, in Hawaii. That normally triggers one of the largest single migrations of data in human history from Hawaii back to the mainland. You've had the Red Sea cables cut this week. This is all happening this week. And so that means Microsoft and Zoom and all the others have gone dark in most of, most of East Africa and most of the Middle East because the cable fibers were cut. Uh, you have the ongoing conflict in Thailand and Cambodia, which by all accounts, public domain was triggered by a cyber attack. And that's just it. Data is so valuable. It's so fragile though at the same time. Right. And the more of our human societies run on it, we just need a backup. I always often talk about the Library of Alexandria, right? A data loss so bad 2,000 years ago yeah. that we still talk about it today. Yeah. And that was what caused by Julius Caesar's troops in the Roman Civil War. Is our infrastructure built to meet demand? No one ever said, hey, we're going to have this incredible infrastructure. How do we best design it for security? It's just built layer upon layer upon layer. What we're doing is one of the first times, thanks to our customers and our partners, to say, okay, as evolved a tool using apes, how are we going to you know, step ahead of the pro problem here? As Larry Niven, great sci-fi author, uh, patron of the Institute of Space Commerce, Change.Space said, the dinosaurs became extinct because they didn't have a space program. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to make sure that we don't become extinct by not backing up our data out of the space where it's cool, it's free, energy, it's logical, and it's safe.